Reporting to you live here from Scotiabank Arena for the WWE's NXT Heat Wave event. It's live from last week. Episode 185. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, passing out on the couch last night, after a fun games night with the neighbors, I woke up to start my day by doing some dishes while waiting for the wife to come home from her night shift and editing Laugh from Last Week footage on the computer all day before I, similar to this pickup in the past, I had seen my first potential Facebook Marketplace purchase in a while. So, making my way in the Mini, driving around the unfamiliar neighborhoods around the St. Clair and Bathurst area, I got to the site to see this masterpiece of an item in person. And literally went from driving the Mini as a normal person with their regular clothes on to becoming a professional F1 race car driver driving a Mini Cooper on their days off. This suit is literally so sick. And after having some fun driving around with my newly found Facebook Marketplace purchase, I went to a local barbershop that looked like they changed since the last time I was here to get this before picture of my hair and come out with this new haircut for the new month of July. So now with my new haircut, which actually probably helped me sleep over an amazing eight hours last night, I pretty much stayed in all day working on live from last week videos before I was able to recall this scene from last week's episode. I was even given the opportunity to have an interview outside of the bar by the fellow YouTube channel Fan First Network, of which I will make a cameo in one of their videos sometime in the future. I was able to find that quick little YouTube clip of my reaction after Canada's most recent Copa America match, courtesy of Fan First Network. Anyways, preparing to go in for a pickup shift on the south side tonight, I just quickly have a birthday greeting to one of my friends out there who I used to shoot skateboarding videos with during the pandemic. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mac. Happy birthday, Mac. And we got a birthday greeting to one of my titas out there who I said I'd go to Oktoberfest with this coming year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Edna. Happy birthday, Tita Edna. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After a post-night shift nap where I only got about three hours of sleep, I spent most of the day finally finishing up editing Live From Last Week episode 184 for tomorrow's release in the morning before the wife came home from Costco to surprise me with a couple of things. First was this easily packable portable cooler with all its compartments that I can't wait to try. And secondly, like the last time I had it, the patented Costco hot dog, fries, and drink, consuming this before I go in for my night shift tonight. But before I make my commute, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball and indoor volleyball friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marie. Happy birthday, Marie. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my Ryerson classmates from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So coming off a steady shift where I regrettably didn't take any footage with them, 
I took report from a former co-worker for their ICU patient and visited another one while picking up meds in their unit. I post shift went to a local flower shop to get the wife some flowers as today is actually our dating anniversary. Happy anniversary! <laughs> so coming home to the condo, I had woken her up to this surprise. Wow, roses. Wow, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. This way. Bye. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Where guys, the flowers that I had gotten her were reminiscent to a place that we had traveled to a couple weeks back that were imported from that exact country. Anyways, after running on pretty much no sleep today, the wife and I had started our weekend driving, meeting up with Giselle to pick her up for a camping trip. But guys, what happened next, just like previous episodes in the past, while driving, my low inflation tire warning came on, showing that one of our tires was flat. So ending up at this very Canadian tire, I got some of this stuff that I had recently used in the past but was unsuccessful as there was still an air leak in the air valve but after feeling a little bit frustrated at our situation luckily there was someone here to help us distract us from this unfortunate event with me thinking that we should check his license since he really didn't look like he looked old enough to drive Anyways, buying this lottery ticket, thinking that our luck could change at any moment, we booked an appointment to have our tires checked out in hopes that we could continue on with our journey. And after they were able to take the car, check the tire, replace the air valve, then test drive the Mini, they didn't want to charge us for the work they had done. So we went out and bought these guys a six pack of cores for their effort. Shout out and a big thanks to the mechanics here at the Barry Canadian Tire. Anyways, eventually we were able to make it to our destination for the night. Camping here at Six Mile Lake Provincial Park. Setting up camp with our tents here. As if we were experienced at this, just like the last time I could remember that we went camping on two adjacent camping sites and choosing a couple of drinks to making it to this campground safely and soundly. But guys, before we enjoy our first full night camping here, Fire, eat that fire. babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just throw a quick birthday shout out to one of our friends that we made during his FSAT days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, John. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night after I left you guys, while making a trip to a place where I used to work out in university, but at the Darlington location, I went in and bought some firewood so that both G and the wife could go on to make some delicious looking food on the outdoor campfire grill here. Mm. Which reminded me of the three for ten dollar barbecue skewers that we got at the Scarborough Town Center Filipino Festival last week. Then, after setting up these fairy lights at our campsite before it got dark, we got to eating our barbecue dinner with minimal lights. While I watched with limited reception, our Team Canada advanced to the Copa America semifinals with a shootout win over Venezuela. Anyways, this morning, after passing out for about 
six hours in total, we heard some rumbling overhead in the area. That was evident with this picture of the area's Doppler radar and the sounds coming from just outside our tent. And guys, it actually had rained so hard that the floor of our tent started to move just like a waterbed. And when I opened up the door just in front of us... Oh <laughs> it looked like we were at the rapids right beside Riverside as evident from these videos. But yeah, to recap the activities for today... Here is the music video for our first full day, aka Baby Luca's first full day camping, here at the Six Mile Lake Provincial Park. After a fun and eventful day, then going back to the tent to finally call it a night. But waking up to our natural alarm clock at around 5 a.m. doing yoga exercises as you guys can see here. We got ready to pack up the campsite as the aforementioned baby Luca supervised us. Spending time with his Tito Paul for the last time in what will be a long while. And having this beautiful family portraits before we all took a couple of photos prior to leaving our weekend campsite. We then did a quick stopover to the Saga House to visit the doggo Sesame and do a quick birthday shout out to the one and only brother-in-law Josh. Happy birthday Josh! Before spontaneously buying tickets to the last event in the WWE's Money in the Bank weekend here in Toronto. Being here with my boy Royce. With whom I've been to many wrestling events with in the past. To catch at the Scotiabank Arena. WWE's NXT Heatwave Premium Live Event.
after an amazing time watching NXT Heatwave last night, with not just Royce and his reaction to this event. Yo, Royce, what is your impression of the WWE NXT Heatwave event? Best surprise ending ever. That was pretty cool. <laughs> That's like it, the best though. Like, yeah. Well, you don't expect anything? I didn't expect anything. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. But the wife also being a trooper watching it with us. I just have a couple of these highlights being some of my favorites. Wow. we started to adventure walking around downtown going to a place that I've always wanted to go to in Toronto checking out the modern building at the corner of Spadana and Front that we know as the well to meet up with some friends and drop off Royce with Liza but now on to today where I stayed in pretty much all day being a house husband and catching up on several chores, as well as watching several of these highlights from this weekend's Money in the Bank pay-per-view, of which I was just astounded of all the various spots that these wrestlers pulled off, especially this big one that probably made a core memory for me. But anyways guys, after that big busy week that we had that just passed us, we'll go on to say we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.